We got to eliminate um, hunger and extreme poverty and forms of malnutrition by 2030. That's a tall order. Now, um, in order to do this, uh, focusing on rural areas is very important because that's where the poverty and hunger is actually disproportionately located. So we need action in the rural areas by all the participants in the rural economy, especially small farmers, small holders, small enterprises, in order to alleviate poverty and hunger. Women, at this point, we all know that they have insufficient access on the resources and services they need in order to develop their full potential. That's very damaging, not only to themselves and to their families, but the communities and nations as a whole. And what kind of services and assets could those be? Education, access to extension, access to land, access to water, access to community decision-making process, which at the end of the day uh, affects them. So it's like try to run to a target that you have to run very fast with only one leg. Uh, that's very important. So that's why we consider women's empowerment, economic empowerment, and gender equality in terms of access to all these things a essential element in order to get to the targets that we want to get at the time that we want to get. In terms of specific programs, let me talk about a program that FAO together with um, High Commission on Refugees and others have uh, uh, put together to address the issue of cooking in crisis situations. You know, the traditional way of cooking is to put three stones together, light the fire, and then uh, put your pots and pans on the fire. This takes a lot of time. It's inefficient in terms of uh, the, um, the amount of wood you need. It needs constant attention. Um, and so it taxes very much women's time. The, the program that, that addressed both environmental issues like the deforestation, uh, women's time issues, quality of cooking, which means nutrition and health of food, uh, and at attending to your children is this, this very simple stoves that uh, were distributed to women. The policy level for me is the most fundamental entry point for addressing the issue of women empowerment, uh, economic empowerment, and and gender equality in the rural areas and in the activities that are related to them. This can go, of course, can generalize this to be policies that affect the whole food system, not just primary agriculture, but processing, transport, etc., retail, etc. See where are the problems that inhibit the role of women and have policies to address them. There will be a very high level participation, which shows that the gender issue, the rural women, the women's empowerment and uh, gender inequality uh, has a wider traction. So some very important people will give their views or their country experiences. There will be technical roundtables. And through this event, we hope to be um, the basis for launching partnerships to address these issues at country level, at regional level, at global level. So we're looking forward to uh, use this as a springboard for further partnerships of, of like-minded people, organizations, groups that care about uh, women empowerment and gender equality uh, uh, for the future.